Okay guys, I did a little video of sanding, but we're back out here. Okay, now, the first thing I'm going to say is, when I made that video yesterday, there had to be at least one or two years that yelled at the TV screen and said he's full of shit, you know he's going to sand it. Yes and no. Um, let me turn the radio off. Uh, there are some areas that I want to sand. I don't want to take any chances. Anything outside with a series of holes is is getting sanded to a point. Okay, all the major flats are going down. In this crevice here is going down. Okay, I did that complete area. Now it needs to be final. This is uh, pretty much at 150. I'm going to bring it down to uh, 220. But this is all sanded in here because this is crap laying in here. Okay. Um, from here out, I'm not going to strip in here. That's going to be impossible. But we are going to make sure that it is smooth. Okay. But from here to like here, this is going to be stripped. Just like in here, it only takes me a couple minutes to get this out of here. Here might be a bigger ordeal. Uh, like down in here. But we'll see as we go along. I'll see how it looks. I'd hate to have some kind of reaction because Junior left some of the paint on, then we went back over the hood and most of the paint was gone. I think it was all gone by that time because he did the work and he primed it to, you know, to secure it, to keep moisture from going in there. And then we came back and we resanded it and then we took care of one or two areas. And if you remember, we epoxied it and I built it, blah, 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 blah. So, um, the areas that have to be metal, you can see the outline of it. This is going to be metal. Okay, we'll get in here the best we can. That's all full of dust and that's not crud of grease. Junior degreased this before we started way back when. Uh, you could see the emblem areas for the other hood. Um, we're going to go in here. Okay. Um, if these can be feathered, we'll leave it. If not, i got to go in there and get that out. I might have to go in there with something else. Um, well, one here is just going to be sanded and prepped. This is just going to be sanded and prepped. It is sanded, but I want to get to like right here. Not enough that it's pure bare metal, which I'm sure it is under there, but enough that when I do it and you look, if we don't have the cover on and you look up there, you don't see a big wad of crap. Um, but that cover is going to go where you see these holes. Okay. And it's shaped like the half round here, so this is all exposed, even though it's back behind the engine. And you're going to be looking at it at this type of angle. Um, I want to be able to trim it however I want here. That's why we're going as far as this. I'm not going to bring it to like this edge. I'm going to bring it wherever I want to make the line, which will probably be right at the edge of here I'd like to do. Um, if the cover comes with holes already pre-drilled in it, um, then either we have to cut here to expose this rib, or we have to cut here. We can't cut like down the center. Um, I'm sure the holes are going to be punched in there. I bought one of these things before. We're working behind the lip, sanding it down. I didn't get over here yet, but if you look, I started. We're getting here. Whack these a little bit. Not really that concerned about that, but now you could see a better shot of what we did when we trimmed it out how close we brought it to the underpinnings of the hood to make it look you know, as factory as we can so this it, that underpinnings is over a little more so you couldn't use that as a perfect guide um, that's why we took measurements off the other hood um, so with that said I got a bunch more sand to do I'm tired I'm shot and uh, I'm calling it for the night. We got out here a little late. Uh, this is hand sanding. Um, like I said, it won't take me much longer to get this groove, get this across here, get this groove, get that across there. That won't take much longer. Um, got to decide what we're doing in here. I have these saw horses padded and just in this rib area because the hood has a curve. I'm up against the curve on either end to keep from. Um, damage in the hood as we're working I can't put them even with the rib because if the hood slides over it'll fall 
this way it's locked in uh, so yeah we have over complicated it I just want to make sure that I don't have um, any jagged edges as you're feathering because it would be nothing worse than doing all that work and you seeing rings around the edges of everywhere I sanded because the edges instead of tapering out I don't really see much tapering going on that's what makes me nervous instead of it tapering out it's actually got the jagged edge like a ripped piece of paper is what it does that can cause lifting that can cause ugliness um, if you're relying on the high build to hide that uh, yeah it's more like you know if you are trying to just blow the car out um, so like I said everywhere outside of these holes we're gonna strip it the best we can and everything inside of those holes we're just gonna prep well if you look at the hood we're pretty much everywhere has been scuffed so far so everywhere will accept paint at this point now we're just fine-tuning it um, to make it look the best we can at this point um, so I'd also like to go in here and neaten up the holes that we made and make sure this molding will bolt on and all that stuff I'd like to fit the molding on um, before we go any further so I gotta come in here with the Dremel and I gotta make that hole nice and whoops pretty and round um, and that's it like I said when I'm done I'm just gonna put a little beautiful over it but I gotta make sure that the nut fits past it um, so I gotta make sure that the notch goes as low as it can this way because I know the molding wants to come down on one side just that little hair so um, and that's it guys I'm taking a break um, tomorrow's Wednesday we'll be back out here again I think we'll pretty much get the brunt of it done tomorrow uh, because tomorrow my main focus is going to be this whole front and at least these ribs um, I don't know I don't know how much we're going to sand here you know what I mean this part of it got sanded already when I sanded this so we'll see so tomorrow I'd be happy if we can get this done and looking nice as well as those ribs going down um, and we'll call it good tomorrow the piece of tin is supposed to be here for the snow blow too I'm going to working on that. Uh, there is some snowblow videos that are going to be coming up as well as a carburetor video. I have a uh, I have a Holly two barrel off a boat sitting at work. I'm just waiting for the kit from the guy. Um, misdiagnosis, but no big deal. Uh, there's nothing actually wrong with the carburetor. But that's not my concern. He asked me if I could just go through it and do it for him and set it up. So it's half of a four barrel. That's all it is. Uh, we got that uh, we got two snow blowers one we're going to pot out and throw the caucus out and the other one we're going to take the electric stuff and one put it on the other so I can bring it back here and just leave it um, so that I'm going to bring to work I'm just going to toss those two in the back of my car and I'll, I'll keep the camera with me so we'll have little pieces of it um, and that's it guys I think I've talked enough uh, I'll take care of everybody and Thanks for the um, the positive comments. I read them today at work. Uh, like I said, I can't comment back. So maybe when I upload this, I'll go on and I'll start answering people. Um, and I've gotten phone calls from like you, Dizzy. Thanks, you, Dizzy. I got to get back to you. Um, real hectic. If you guys don't see me out here, something's going on. Something's being taken care of. That's all I got to say. And if you see me out here. It's usually the byproduct of what's going on. If you can understand that, if you can't, not much I could uh, say. Um, so, we're out of here.